People, what's going on? Big difference today. And I was talking to my man. We talking about uh, gender roles. And it's a big misconception with a lot of things. But in my opinion, what I've, you know, come to experience in my life, it's pretty much blurred lines between masculine and feminine gender roles or the influence of the gender roles. And that has to be said because of what we see, what we perceive, you know, uh, and how people look at us. You know, how, what a woman's supposed to do as a woman, as a young woman, you know what I'm saying, growing up to be uh, what a man should see her as. And we, we have to, and, and vice versa, uh, and what a man's supposed to be. You know, what a, a young man's supposed to do to become a, become a man, to be a masculine man. And we get a misconstrued a lot. We have different uh, perceptions about it. And with that being said, just just to kind of like defy, uh, define certain things, you got to know that uh, a woman that's operating out her energy, her feminine energy, is that that her attitude and how she see life, uh, how she look at things towards life is going to be a lot different. You know what I'm saying? And how we think a woman should be or how feminine she should be is that we look for her softness, her calmness, her uh, assuredness, and uh, more or less her nurturing, her nurturedness to us, if that's a word, and how she nurtures us. But, um, fellas, you know, we, we, we got to know that women operate out of their emotion. You know what I'm saying? Some women can't control their emotions. Some women operate out of chaos or, or, or a lot of things that's busyness. Not all, but, but some. You know what I'm saying? And, but you, you got to uh, realize that that's where they operate from. They operate from emotion. Totally separate from a man. Totally separate from a man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, men, we operate from straight logic. Facts. Facts first. Logic first. We more like a straight line. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we don't dip and dive. We don't, we're not in and out of our emotions. Some of us. Some of us aren't in and out of our emotions. You know what I'm saying? But more or less, we, we operate from a standpoint of strictly logic. You know, uh, Life, relationships are all approach with logic. You know, um, we, we, we come from a place of bottom lines, facts. We're trying to get in and out of a conversation, out of a situation, and, not, and use less emotion as possible as far as masculinity is concerned. Women like to talk about the feelings. They like to talk about, you know, this situation made me feel like this. You know, watching this on Lifetime made me feel this way about this person. You know, they like to operate from feelings, emotion. And some of y'all, some of us men, we get that misconstrued and just think she's just crazy. You know, or, or you know, a lot of that go in one ear and out the other for us. And, um, for example, you know, women operate from emotion, like I said, from their feelings about you know, having babies, you know, uh, decision making, jobs, you know, what men that they like, you know, will this job, I like the people at my job, you know, I love my environment, you know, but in contrast, men think with, like I said, from a logical standpoint, and it's how much do this job pay? Is it close to home? How much does it benefit me? Whether it's medical or whatever. How much upward, upward mobility do I have in the job? That's where we operate from. You know, does this, does this job have a better influence for me and my family? That's what you got to know. This is what you got to know. This is uh, us understanding one another when we can. And, but the difference nowadays is that 
when women try to, well, when, 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 when life stuff, you know, whether it's job, wherever we at, we're always being, we, we're always being compared to one another as being equal, you know, and jobs don't allow women to do that. You know, now, now society will cause that shift, you know what I'm saying? And it will cause the shift that, uh, women should act a certain way in a job. Uh, thinking with more logic. Not saying that women don't think with logic. They just operate from emotion first. Logic is second. If not third. You know. they. But society has caused that shift with us. You know. Has caused that shift with women to operate from that place. And, and it's like that so much that it, it, it bleeds out. So where you notice it in everyday life that. Their emotions are more lackluster and become more masculine, and it causes and they call and it kind of causes uh causes to show the masculinity, you know, it it, it 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 at all at all points at all times because just because of that, because of job situations, not being in the home like some people feel that where women should be like they yeah they should work. But they should also be, you know, nurturing and caring at home and the whole nine. But like I said, society does not do that in the workplace. It forces women to be masculine from, from all different uh, angles of life, you know, more or less money based where we all feel like we should be or women should feel like they're equal to men in all facets of life, which that's not the case. And the gender roles, like I say, be become blurred. And later down the road, it makes women not even seem approachable. You know what I'm saying? Men don't see women as approachable because they always, they, well, I ain't gonna say always, they show signs of masculinity. You know, they, they want to be as equal to a man in a job. You know what I'm saying? They want to be, you know, they, they, they want to show that they can be the manager and take emotion from it, you know, and lead with an iron fist as, as men do or men try to do or aspire to do. You know, most people feel like, well, in in society, men make better lead, leaders because we don't dip in and out of emotion. You know, we, like I said, again, we a straight line. That's where we come from. But with the gender roles, we think that their specific tasks, personalities, and behaviors that men and women are expected to embrace. Roles influence, our gender roles influence, and sometimes define the behavior in interpersonal relationships of men and women, right? So, because of that, this is how we're thinking. We think, we think it from two different standpoints. We're thinking about job, and we're thinking about how women should be in the home. Home and work. Two different places, but society, or even media, changes that you see it on tv you can't you I, that's the, I, i'm gonna save that topic for another video but i'm gonna get back on it like i find that some some not all listen listen with your ears that some black women are the worst when it comes to plant the uh, i'm sorry when displaying feminine characteristics why why I say that? Because everything they do is uh more of a comes from more of a place of independence. Where they don't need a man, they don't need to lean on a man. They don't even need to lean on his own understanding of it. But that's jumping into from from work to being in the home to being in relationships. And it comes it comes uh full circle, you know, because it all play a part. It all play a part. And myself as a black man, I feel that we have like we have been introduced to um feminism, you know, early in our lives. You know, uh feminism is unfortunately growing in in a, in in popularity. Black men have a lot of experience in dealing with this due to the fact that black women tend to be on the extreme side when it comes to this, you know, uh, 
of that masculinity and, and and the extreme cases of masculinity has the biggest turn off for men. You know what I'm saying? When you have to deal with when you when you have to deal with women. So you you see it from um from a lot of different sides. And and in and, and knowing that the perception plays a role, man. It plays a role in the influence from the media. And I just want to jump on the media side for the side with it because it's it hurts us. It hurts men. It hurts women and how we perceive one another. Uh, gender is, in my opinion, is one of the uh, most basic classifications in social life. You know what I'm saying? And knowing that, I gotta go. I don't. I don't really want to get off the topic of of gender roles and going other places, but I'm gonna have to say, you know, having self knowledge and understanding, I saw I saw that how gender roles provided structure in the community. Roles provided structure in the community. I gotta say that again. That experience, the weight of having a family structure destroyed by the media. You see it every day. You telling people they could be this and can they, they could be that, which they can be. But when you're when you're trying to force behaviors of onto the opposite sex, you make it a competition. So now women and men feel like they can be better at who 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 could be the best at being a uh, a woman? Who could be the best at being a man of the opposite sex? That's what that's what society or the media has done. You know, we watch so much of it on TV. You see it, and and I ain't good. You know what I'm saying? Because you you got so many people uh, acting out of character. You know. They acting out of the element. They acting out of they, they not being masculine. They not being feminine. So not just the not just the media emasculates us, but so do the women. They emasculate us. You know what I'm saying? Some males take the bait and feel it's all right to be considered effeminate. You know. Doing things suited for a woman, but you a man. You, I mean, that can't. It, no, you know what I'm saying. You you gotta be in your own energy. Let women be in their energy. Let men be in their energy. You know what I'm saying. Their masculine energy. And like I said, I gotta go back to just the touch base, the gender roles, the perception of things have been changed and skewed so much. Today in this life, you can't even tell. You know, for instance, um, it's this thing, hypermasculinity. That's so like 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 is examined to the extreme in our culture that it destroys. That it destroys us, as men. The very term hypermasculinity, which some of y'all have to look up, is an exaggeration of the male stereotypical behavior. You know, it's a, it, it focuses on the emphasis of physical strength. You know what I'm saying? Aggression, sexuality. You know, more than anything, it's a notion that's harmful and choking to consider masculinity. I'm sorry, to be masculine in a feministic society. You know, so everybody switching roles. And the lines have become so blur blurred that we can't see the difference. You know, masculine thing is, is, is they have so many different names for it now. You know what I'm saying? Metrosexuals and, you know, you're, you're defining a man to be more feminine than anything. And like I said, we, we get the two confused. We uh, consider like, you know, the feminine thing to do is for women to be in the house. You know, uh, women, women let, let men be the breadwinners. Let men be the provider and the protector. Let them do manly things. 
uh, what is it, the lawn, taking out garbage, shoveling the snow, getting the car fixed, stuff like that, while women take care of things in the house. Now the times have changed. Times do change. They will always change. But that that doesn't take away from who you need to be, you know? The lines will be blurred, and, and as times go, you never know. I don't think I don't know if things will will change. But far as men being in their energy with their masculine, where a woman can look at you and be like, you know what? He's that man I need to to be with, or to um, not necessarily always in a relationship, but work with. Cause he knows he, he knows he know his um his element. He know what he's doing as a man. And and vice versa. Men need to know that they can approach a woman. You know, that she she's she's approachable. She she gives off that energy as being a woman, smell like a woman, smile. You know, like I said, that that nurturing, that assuredness, that softness, that calmness. You know what I'm saying? That's who she is as a woman and we always get the uh the two blurred but it's a lot that that plays into the feminine the masculine energy it definitely does but that's my time like share subscribe leave me a comment you know those who personally know me shoot me a text you know get tell me what you thought all right y'all be blessed and i'm out